What is going on ladies and generals, Jody Slay here, bringing you episode 5 of my Borderlands 2 Pearlescent Weapon Series. Today, I have a Pearlescent Assault Rifle for you guys, known as the Saw Bar. In my case, it is the Accurate Saw Bar. In your case, the prefix of this gun may change, but it will be some variation of the Saw Bar. Now, I apologize for the lack of Borderlands 2 videos the last week. If you watched my last unique video over the Bone Shredder, I did say towards the end of that, that this week, I was going to focus on Mob of the Dead, the new zombie map for Black Ops 2, and I've done that I'm bored with it so it's time to get on with these pearlescent weapons and I've got to say these freaking pearlescent weapons are a lose their dude I cannot for the life of me get a level 61 I could get pearlescents for days level 59 and 60s but to get a level 61 is like this rarest thing in this game I swear I, I can get legendaries every day like I don't know a couple days ago well a couple days before mob of the dead came out I I farmed literally all day did not get one level 61, but I got like double digit pearlescence, but no level 61s. This is actually the last level 61 I have recorded, and I've had it recorded for like two weeks. I don't know. But right here, you can see I am playing with Predictable Nova. I've got her in the game. These loot midgets, by the way, are going to put it to me. They weren't very polite this session. But if you don't know, if you're going to go for some of these legendaries in the game, try playing with more players. It will actually increase your odds and give you better loot. And you can see right here that I did get the saw bar, where you could probably... Probably see I got hit by the dude's fireball there and he put me down again But you can see that I did finally get a level 61 after days and days of getting 59 and 60 So that's a tip for you guys if you want to get more people the more people in your game Two three four player doesn't matter But if you get if you're playing with four you're gonna get the best stuff But the more play people in your game the better chance you get for some of these guns and the higher level they will be so that's a good tip for anybody. Also, if you don't know what this legendary loot midget that I'm doing by now, uh, running for these guns, I will have an annotation at the top center of the screen for you to click on. Go to watch that video and figure out the method. It's the best way that I know of right now to go for these pearlescent weapons, and you will find legendaries for days. Legendaries from these legendary loot midgets, they honestly occur every one, like one out of three legendary loot midgets drop a legendary. Like legendaries drop for days. Level 61 even like I just can't get a level 61 pearl to save my life leave in the comments if you get the same uh, same freaking problem I just I can get them <laughs> just can't get level 61 I can get a lot of legendaries too I've got some really good legendaries from these dudes but uh it is what it is but right now while we're looking for this game at this gameplay I do have the sham shield on I will note that these guns will always be fire and um let me just read from the wiki and then we'll go into that it says this saw bar is a pearlescent assault rifle manufactured by bandit the saw bar can be attained randomly from any suitable loot source, but has a higher chance to drop from human badasses. Spe special weapon effects, suppressing fires, it says, and that indeed it does. Increased magazine size, very slow reload speed, reduced rate of fire, very high accuracy for a bandit weapon, always incendiary. That means it's always going to be fire element. I actually did not know that until I read that. Um, after a set time period, Shots fired spawn three other projectiles that travel at an angle before exploding. Now, when I was using this gameplay, I actually didn't notice this. But as I look over to the screen, I can actually see them splitting up into three other projectiles. So that's a pretty awesome, like, fa like, like trait, whatever, for this gun. If you got that right distance down, you're essentially, like, man, think how much firepower you could put on somebody if you had it at the right distance so that, you know... The enemy is right there in that distance where that's going to spread out to three shots. You can lay down some insane cover fire with this insane size, insane magazine size. You can shoot literally for days, dude. It's I really like this gun. This is the best pro lesson weapon I have found so far. Well, I've used so far. So usage and description. The saw bar sports a high ammo capacity, typical of bandit weaponry, and is exclusively a fire element weapon. This weapon is actually on par with other purple rarity bandit weapons, except for a slightly higher chance to ignite. Shots fired from the saw bar after a set time will spawn three other shots that travel out at an angle before exploding. The explosion is based on flight time rather than distance, so Zero's velocity skill will cause the explosion to occur at a greater distance from the character. At the appropriate distance, the saw bar is capable of hitting enemies behind cover with the explosion. So that's pretty awesome. Now, tribute for this game, the saw bar's name is quite possibly a port mancha of Saul, which is squad atom automatic weapon and BAR. 
Browning automatic rifle. If you if you play Call of Duty, if you know anything about military weapons, you've got the saw, which is like the M249 saw that you know infantry use just to lay down this like super suppressive uh, firepower. And then you've got the BAR, the Browning automatic rifle, that is a beast. I'm not really. Sure. I think that's more like a heavy uh, machine gun more than a light machine gun. Uh, but nonetheless, it's going to lay down some firepower. They just put the names together, so I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, but looking at the gameplay of this, one thing you will notice at the beginning, I did have the sham shield on. For the amount of firepower I was putting down, this is a gun that's, you know, for suppressive firepower to suppress enemies. And it does get the job done. Right here, I almost die. I actually kind of clutch it. Uh, but and it does get the job done for as much fire or for as much firepower as you could put down and as long as you can hold the trigger down like 10 to 15 maybe even 20 seconds it definitely lays down some suppressive fire but for the amount of bullets you're firing i didn't feel with the sham shield that it did much damage it did ignite and do a lot of fire damage but once you put this b shield on the amount of ammo you've got with this b shield it just destroys everything. That Dude, I love this gun with the B-Shield. I will definitely be rocking this gun, I guarantee you, with this B-Shield when I get in trouble. Because if you pay attention, man, it is almost every enemy that I fire. Look at this. Even that Nomad Plunder. Oh, he takes my B-Shield down. But the other Nomads back there, it, it was just pooping on everything. The Ultimate Badass Marauder, it was pooping on him, dude. I love this gun. I wish it actually came in other elements. Um, but I'd like to see this go against like Terramorphos or something. Maybe Gunzerk with two of these with the B shield. Dude, do you realize how many time, how many bullets you'd be putting into him? Especially if you had the distance down where it was separating in three. Gunzerking that with the B shield. I bet it'd be over quickly. I don't know. Some of the guns that I thought would be really good against Terramorphos and the Warrior and stuff like that just didn't do anything. Uh, so, you know, to each their own. This gun is definitely not for me and my Gunzerker because it is a pistol build. But with a Commando and the B-Shield and the right skill, skill tree, dude, <clears throat> it'd be over. It'd be over. This is a gun definitely for a Commando. But I am wrapping this up, guys. I hope you enjoyed Episode 5 here in my Pro Lesson Weapon Series. Please cross your nuts and your fingers so I can hopefully get more of these because this is the last one I've recorded. I won't be able to post another one until I get another one recorded. So pray for it. Pray for it. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.